Once you start looking for a wedding photographer and reading over their different wedding collections, you will see that most wedding photographers offer uh, several different wedding collections based on time. But if you have never been married before, how do you know how much time you need your photographer for? Today, I'm going to help you decide how much wedding coverage you need in just four simple questions. Are you going to have a grand exit at the end of the night that you want your photographer to cover? Is the ceremony and the reception in the same place? Are you having a first look? And how important to you are getting ready photos? Now let's talk about why these questions are important. Are you doing a grand exit at the end of the night? If you are doing a grand exit that you want the photographer to cover, well, that will dictate the end of the coverage. So if you know that you will have, will have an exit at 10, then you can just work backwards from there. If you are not doing a grand exit, budget for the photographer to be at the reception for about two hours. After a certain amount of time, all dancing photos start to look exactly the same. Is the ceremony and the reception in the same location? Indy has some great venues like uh, Mustard Seed Gardens in Noblesville that pull double duty and let you do both in the same location. Get married under the old oak tree and then party in the big red barn. Having both the ceremony and the reception in the same location can save you a lot of time. I can't tell you how many times I've seen what should be just a 10 minute car ride take over an hour. Now, people never know what they need to bring, where they're going, uh, where to park when they get there. That drive time can really eat into portraits, and if you only book your photographer for five or six hours, every moment is important. Next is, are you having a first look? A first look is when you and your soon-to-be spouse see each other the day of the wedding before the ceremony and then have it photographed. Now, why would this affect how much time you need to book your wedding photographer for? Traditionally, family photos, bridal party photos, and wedding portraits happen between the ceremony and the reception. This is usually uh, when the cocktail hour is for guests to keep them occupied while your bridal party and you are out busy with uh, the photographer taking photos. Now, if you do a first look before the ceremony, you can do all of your bridal portraits, uh, bridal party photos, and maybe even your family photos, freeing you up to go straight from the ceremony to the reception and meet with guests, saving you uh, potentially an hour of of coverage. Next is how important are getting ready photos? There's a lot of prep the morning of a wedding, but it usually consists of hair, makeup, and mimosas, right? This is the time where you and all of your bridesmaids relax, sharing old stories, listening to music, getting in your dresses, and, and, and laughing. Now this could be a great opportunity to get some candid photos of you all hanging out and having a great time before uh, the day gets started. But it's a good idea to establish how important these photos are to you as it typically takes an hour or more of time to photograph the getting ready part of the day. And while the photos really help to tell the, wedding, uh, the story of the wedding day, especially in the album, these photos are rarely shared online as it's before you have gone through hair and makeup. <laughs> okay, so let's go through some examples. If you are having a grand exit at 10 and uh, your ceremony is at 2, your ceremony and reception are not in the same location, uh, you're not doing a first look, and getting ready photos are very important to you, I would recommend 10 plus hours of coverage from 2 p.m. Uh, for your ceremony to 10 p.m. for your exit, that's 8 hours right there. Add 2 hours for getting ready photos, that's, that's 10 hours. Most weddings can confidently be captured with 8 hours of coverage. Now this allows for about an hour of getting ready photos, which is perfect, as most of the girls will be done with hair and makeup, and then we can capture you getting into your dress. Most couples also decide to do a first look, uh, but with eight hours of coverage, the timeline is not screwed up if you decide that it's not the right choice for you. Now that leads us to the ceremony, and then an hour and a half to shoot all family photos, bridal party photos, and portraits before heading to the reception. Capture all the activities, like the entrance, uh, first dances, cake, toasts, and all those great drunk dance moves uh, from your guests. Like I said, for the majority of weddings, eight hours of coverage is perfect. If you are not having a grand exit, your ceremony is at the same location as your reception, and you decide to do a first look and you don't need any getting ready photos, you should be fine with just five to six hours of coverage. So what if you booked six hours of coverage and now you need more time on your wedding day? I know that during the planning process, a wedding can become something entirely different than what you thought that it would be. The wedding is now going to end later and it's going to have an exit, so what do you do? Most photographers will be happy to add an additional hour or two if you need them to. Just ask for their hourly rate. 
If you've learned anything from this video, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and ask. I am always happy to help. I'm Raymond Hatfield, a wedding photographer right here in Indianapolis. That is it for today, and I will talk to you soon.